वेलकम टू पार्ट थ्री ऑफ ए आई इन एंड एग्जाम इफ यू मिस माई प्रीवियस पार्ट पार्ट वन एंड टू प्लीज डू चेक इट आउट बिकॉज इट विल बिल्ड ए सॉलिड फाउंडेशन ऑफ ए आई इन एंड एंड एग्जाम कॉन्सेप्ट और राइट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज रिलेटेड टू चैट फंक्शनलिटी सो आई मार्क द की वर्ड्स इट सींग इंग्लिश टू स्पेनिश ट्रांसलेशन इन रियल टाइम ओके वी गॉट सम इंटरेस्टिंग ऑप्शन द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज स्पीच ट्रांसलेटर सो दिस माइट बी कन्फ्यूजिंग बिकॉज स्पीच ट्रांसलेटर कैन प्रोवाइड ट्रांसलेशन फ्रॉम इंग्लिश टू स्पेनिश बट द प्रॉब्लम विच स्पीच ट्रांसलेशन इज दैट इट एक्सपेक्ट द इनपुट इन ऑडियो फॉर्मेट दैट इज इट कैन बी ए ऑडियो स्ट्रीम और कैन बी ए फाइल लेट से वेव फॉर्मेट एम पी थ्री सो बट इट कैन नॉट लाइक प्रोसेस द इंफॉर्मेशन ऑफ ए टेक्स्ट इफ यू सी द क्वेश्चन इज सींग अबाउट चैट राइट इट एक्सपेक्ट इन टेक्सट फॉर्मेट so speech translator is the wrong option next option is text translator it does fits the question but let's look at the other options as well next option is form recognizer in the question there's nothing written that it scans document or forms so form recognizer is not the correct option last option is lewis so even in the question if we see there is nothing called understanding of language etc keywords so lewis can't be so we are left out with text translator and if you look at the official documentation as well so it's clearly mentioned that text translator to translate to and from 90 text translation note the keyword text is there and dialects so there are if you look at you can have a look at the official documentation there are uh, tons of languages here are the language codes so for the sake of the question we'll lock b as our answer all right the next question is related to facial detection so in the real world question you will get like radio buttons to select yes or no so the first statement is facial detection can determine whether a person is wearing sunglasses or not yes this is true facial detection can do next statement is facial detection requires a full frontal image so why in the real world you will re- require the full frontal image like um, that why it's the purpose of facial detection if you are using a smartphone uh, you might have noticed like you just project the phone in front of your face so it doesn't require a full frontal image right so the option is no next is facial detection can determine the op- emotion of a human being so obviously it can detect whether you are sad happy or angry etc so it can detect the emotions so we we'll lock this okay this is interesting question related to skype and we do use it in our business or day to day office life so i mark the keyword it says customer support over skype the first option is custom vision so definitely not custom vision is no way related to skype next is personal digital assistant so if you look at personal digital assistant i have always said like whenever uh, you see in the question it helps you in personal way like calendars or alarms or something something like that which helps you personally so that fits personal digital assistant but in our question it's not helping you personally it's like customer support so that's a generic so this is wrong option web chat so if you look web chat uh, first of all it might look like it can fit the option but we got a better option here telephonic voice menu because web chat is nothing but like your typing anything like in the form of a text but in telephonic voice menu it gives more interaction with the customer like if you press any button it redirects you to the uh, customer care executive or let's say how much balance you have in your mobile something like that so d is more better option than c so we we'll lock d as our op- correct option all right the next question is related to anomaly detection and if you are interested in credit card frauds then this is the question like you should give an importance to so the first statement is anomaly detection enables preemptive action to be taken before an event occurs so let me explain this thing like uh, let's say there's 100 million dollars amount deposited in your account so 
that is something like uh, which doesn't happen generally so that is a primitive measure like something that can't be so you can the statement is true so the next statement is anomaly detection can predict when a problem will occur definitely not because it can detect after the problem but it can't forecast anything because uh, as an example like let's say today you are having credit card fraud you can't actually tell like whether tomorrow will happen or day after tomorrow or next year will happen so we'll mark this as no next option is anomaly detection can analyze data over time yes it can detect or analyze data over time so these are the correct options for this okay we got to select two scenarios related to conversational ai so i have already mentioned in my previous videos like conversational ai is nothing but which can have a conversation like you can have a conversation with so the first statement is translating speech from one language to another so this is wrong because that's the purpose of translator not conversational ai so the next option is detecting a change in flight departure time so are you having a conversation uh, like when the flight departure time is getting uh, like you want to detect so absolutely not so that is not an example answering faqs or frequently asked questions yes you can have because that is a kind of conversation we are having c is true making a flight reservation this is again a example of conversational ai because if you want to book a flight let's say on uh, 30th august 2022 then you can have a conversation so that is an example of conversational ai so we'll mark these two as a correct options all right the next question is related to risk of human life so how to eliminate the risk so this is an interesting question so if you look at the first option so it says inclusiveness so i've already said like inclusiveness is nothing but to include all groups of people but the question is not asking about including everyone it's uh, more response uh, concerned about like risk to human life so inclusiveness can't be there fairness absolutely not because it's not uh, asking about the like fairness in gender color so something like that so this is also wrong privacy and security is privacy and security related to human life no uh, partly i can say but absolutely if you look at the other option reliability and safety this fits better than this so uh, obviously like uh, there's a security breach that may this this might confuse you the that can be sometimes like uh, risk to human life so but reliability and safety definitely this fits the correct option for this so we'll lock d as our op correct answer and if you look at the official documentation as well under reliability and safety you can see response safely to new situations right so as you know i always support my answers with op official documentation so please do subscribe my channel so that you get constant updates and correct options for each and every questions okay this is very interesting question and you will get this type of question in real world exam as well so the question is asking about guiding principles about microsoft responsible ai approach so you got to memorize or understand this because this, this is very important right in terms of exam perspective so the first option is gui is this guiding principle absolutely not no brainer so next is inclusiveness yes inclusiveness means like including a group of people and that comes under ai microsoft ai principles so b is right so c geo secure geo location access so th this is this does not uh, belong to like principles and it has nothing to do with that so c is also wrong we are left out with d uh, reliability and safety yes this is one of the principles and if you look at the official documentation under microsoft ai principles clearly mentioned like reliability and safety inclusiveness you got to memorize everything and you can play the videos in official page as well have a look they they are very um, beautiful and uh, beautifully explained videos so this is very important in terms of exam perspective as well so we'll lock 
B and D as the correct option for this. All right, the next question is related to sentiment analysis. So sentiment analysis, I have already told like it's related to sentiments. So the first option is find the use of brand names in a document. So if you find the brand names, is it related to anger, happiness? Absolutely not. So A is wrong. Analyze social media for the brand. So if you analyze any page or social media of any person or brand, you will find comments or uh, like emotions, uh, especially in Facebook, uh, you can see the sad emot emoticons is there, anger is there. Uh, in the comment section, if someone is happy or sad, they can type. So this uh, looks to be the potential option, but let's still scroll the other options if we get a better option. Extract brand information from documents. So if you extract brand information from documents, so Info, let, let's say um, your brand is XYZ. If you extract XYZ, are you getting any sentiments? Anger, happiness? Absolutely not. So C is wrong. D's transcribe the recordings of marketing presentation into text. So if you even transcribe the recordings into text, recordings, it's anger or happiness. So again, it's just transcribing into text. It doesn't uh, relate to any uh, like emotions. So we'll lock b as the correct option for this okay this is related to biasing so how to mitigate the bias and this is related to ai principles in real world question you'll get these types of questions like three to five i guess the first option is inclusiveness so if you include all groups of people it's not related to biasing like right so this is wrong next is transparency Again, wrong transparency is like being transparent and about uh, the work, etc. The question is not asking that. It's instead asking mitigation of bias. Fairness, uh, yes, it does because uh, one can, biasing can happen due to, uh, based on the gender, so colors. So the, that fits, right? So C looks to be the potential option. D is accountability. So, Accountability, uh, absolutely not because it requires the people involved in designing. So uh, the question is not asking about that. So D is wrong and we lock fairness as the correct answer for this. Okay, this is very interesting question and the keywords are identified dominant colors and we got to select Azure Cognitive Service. So the first option is custom vision. So this might be confusing because custom vision does allows you to build and deploy your own set of images and classifiers. But the problem is it can't detect dominant colors, right? So custom vision is the wrong. Next is computer vision. Computer vision does have the ability to do, but let look at the other option. Next option is form recognizer C. So in form recognizer, it has nothing to do with the dominant colors. So it's not asking about documents. So C is wrong. D's personal detail assistant PDA. So this doesn't help you personally like identify dominant colors. It can help me or some other person. So uh, this is a generic thing. So D is wrong. And if we look at the official documentation as well. So computer vision analyze dominant foreground colors mark the keywords right dominant background colors and a set of dominant colors for image in a whole so this is what we are looking for so we we'll lock computer vision as the correct option so please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and press the bell and select all because more parts related to ai in is coming soon so please please don't go away